What's going on, my friends? DJ Low Stacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little different. So instead of a gig log or instead of a product review, we're gonna be watching a gig log. So I realized that today marks just over a year from the very first time I ever posted a gig log type of video on YouTube. So September 14th, 2013, I posted my first video called Weekend Wedding Extravaganza. And I want to watch it together with you, do a little commentary, kind of talk through it. We'll probably have a couple laughs and we might learn some things, but I want to watch this together because I think it's going to be a learning lesson for me and just uh, kind of a you know trip down memory lane. So let's watch this. I remember being super proud of this uh, intro. I'm pretty sure I paid to have this intro made. Hey YouTube, what's up? It's my first video vlog, I guess you'd call it. Um, the video you're about to watch is kind of a compilation of the last three <clears throat> weddings I did and some footage from Legends from just a normal weekend and then uh, a little bit from Wine and Harvest Fest. Not a whole lot of footage. Uh, it's kind of my first take at doing the videography thing at my gigs, but uh look forward to doing a lot more in the future and hope you guys enjoy. Alright, just got out of the shower. Gonna go get all my stuff loaded up in the truck and head to Legends to set up. Once I'm down there, headed to the vineyards, which is the venue for tonight's wedding. Uh, that's gonna be from 5 until 10.30 and then I'm um, headed back to Legends to DJ the rest of the night. So, yep, that's my plan. I'm back. Alright, well, got the truck all loaded up. Ready to head out. Uh, I'm gonna put in there. Speaker. Cord bag. Laptop bag. And now I'm gonna push down this protein bar. Because I'm hungry. And then my head legends set up and uh I'll get back to you then. Hello again. Well, we're here at the vineyard. He's smacking on smacking on my gum. Camera's all blown out. So for those of you wondering, this was my first vlog camera. It was a Nikon something, I don't remember what it was, but point and shoot, no flip out screen, no external mic, nothing like that. I just shot with it in auto and yeah, I did some videos like this, but fun fact about this venue. So this venue is called The Vineyards. It actually closed down, and it was up for sale a couple years ago, and I almost bought it. Uh, main reason I didn't is it needed a ton of work. It's It needs a lot to be updated. The price they were asking for it, it's a little too much considering the amount of money that would have to be put into it. Uh, now it's actually an antique store, but I saw that it's up for sale again, and they're asking even more than what they paid for it, and from what I can see, they've done no renovations, but... Maybe I'll end up buying this place if the price gets right. This is in Papa. I must be a little early because the uh, doors are still locked. So I'm just going to wait it out until the caterer gets here and then be headed in to get set up. All right, we made it to the door, had everything set up. People are here. The caterer is still not here, but the DJ's here. The music's playing. It looks beautiful. It's gorgeous. This is Jen Fitz. So that was my buddy Jensen. He actually moved to Colorado, but back in the day, he used to come to a lot of weddings with me. As you can see, I was doing the, the instant doubles thing because I had my other mixer and other turntable at the bar. So what I could do is I could just pack up, grab my computer, run into the bar, start playing, and didn't have to worry about setting, setting up any gear. Oh yeah. You can also see here the facade that I'm using. Got the nice cake here, lights. So that facade, I actually made that facade. So that facade was the first like DIY DJ thing that I ever made. So it was actually, it was MDF one by fours and I mitered all the corners, used some brackets to hold it all together. And then I bought a roll of that, this white Lycra fabric off of eBay. 
And that's what I used to cover it. And I'm not even kidding. I probably used a thousand staples to try to hold that thing on there. It would pop loose all the time. Fabric would rip. But it was a good facade considering I made it myself for probably, I don't know, 50 bucks. <laughs> So that was a little clip of Legends, the sports bar I used to play at. And that right there, actually, is my old truck. So that was, uh, I got a big, I got a thing for black F-150s, I guess. That was my 07. Uh, it was in Plasti Dip, was super popular. So the wheels were Plasti Dipped, bumpers, everything that was chrome, I had Plasti Dipped it uh, black. Whew. All right. Well, we're on day two of the weekend wedding extravaganza. Truck's all packed up still from last night, so that's good to go. Uh, didn't get as much sleep as I would have liked. Uh, didn't go home from the bar until about 2.30. Wedding last night went great. It was smooth. No problems. Everyone had a great time. Now, let's hope this one goes smooth as well. I've only done one other ceremony my DJ career so it should be interesting and there's some special tasks that they've asked me to perform so let's hope I can nail it smooth and me and Jensen can make our money and head home tonight can't wait till tomorrow all right we're here at the nice did you guys see that tra that transition I don't even think that that was intentional I'm 99% certain I did that on accident but that was a pretty cool drop the camera pick up the camera transition there but if you, if you pick that up I was saying that this is only the second wedding ceremony that I had ever done so I'd obviously only done a handful of weddings and this was only the second ceremony the ceremony site got everything set up computer speaker chairs pastor the place is awesome this is where the wedding party is going to be walking down. So I've been to this place a bunch of times now. This place is called Riverside Reception from a couple years ago. This was actually the same venue where the photographer got kicked out. And uh, it was a big old fiasco with the couple and uh, just a horrible photographer. They were just not, not, not very professional, did not do a good job. I think almost felt like they were wanting to get kicked out. It's pretty sad. The ground here just... Amazing. Waterfalls everywhere. Beautiful river. It's showtime here in about oh 10 seconds. So fun fact about that moment right there. That was the first time I had ever had anybody do a mic drop. And that girl dropped, after that, she dropped the mic right on the middle of the dance floor. Uh, luckily, it was a corded mic. It was like a $40 mic from Guitar Center. And it, it still worked, but it definitely scared everybody because it made quite the quite the racket when she let that thing hit the floor. <laughs> Shuffle. Still getting it. Still getting it. 10 p.m. All right. All right. We're headed down the road, or we are on the road, headed to Ingle Farms in Lawrence. It's actually kind of in between Lawrence and Bangor. Uh, going to rehearsal dinner tonight. Uh, gonna practice the ceremony a couple times, and then I'm off to Wine Harvest Festival for the rest of the evening. And I'll probably do some, a little bit of footage there, so everybody can kind of check that out. It's a pretty, pretty sweet thing. Gone to it every year for the past probably, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I uh, get rid of the hair and go back to the Chia Pet look? Three or four years. 
Lots of drinking, wine. Uh, Pop-Up Brewing Company is probably gonna have a big, big thing going on too. That place is really blowing up. All right, truck's all packed up. Gary to head to pop off, set up stuff at Legends for DJ Bandit tonight. And then I'm going to pick up Josh Jacobs and we're headed to Bangor to set up in your All right, we need the guys up here now. We need the, we need the next guy who will be doing this for now. Jeez, cringy. So, garter toss and a buddy of mine, Josh. So, if you pick that up, uh, He's a friend of mine. He used to come with me to a lot of weddings. Because believe it or not, I was scared to do announcements and talk on the microphone. Where's all the single guys? Where are you? Don't throw me. There we go. Keep the shuffle again. Cha cha slide, whatever. Back to Legends. Some memories in this room, I'll tell you what. Alright, well that was my video compilation from the last couple weeks, like I said. Uh, again, my name is Logan, uh, also known as DJ Low Stacks. Here's my logo. The old Run DMC logo. Um, check me out on Facebook. Facebook.com backslash DJ dot low stacks. Uh, I'm working on my web page. That should be up here hopefully in the next couple weeks. But yeah, visit my Facebook page, like it, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I know it's my first video, but plan on making a lot more. Thanks. Plan on making a lot more. Except I didn't post another gig log or anything like that for like seven years. <laughs> so it took a little while. On uh, actually, so the next gig log after that was gig log number one, is what I called it. If you want to go check that one out, that one was posted in I think 20, 2017. Uh, but what I wanted to do here, guys, I just wanted to show you that I did not start where I am today. Like, I did not have a 65 inch video booth and you know the equipment that I have today, and just kind of provide a little encouragement to just put yourself out there, grow your business. It doesn't happen overnight. I've been doing this for a really long time, you know, to finally get to where I am today. And I still have a long ways to go. So I just wanted to post this as, you know, we could have some laughs together and just a little motivation for all of you to, you know, keep pushing, keep pushing forward, you know, keep expanding your offerings and upgrading your equipment and all that stuff. And, you know, you can, uh, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. I'm just kidding, but it is true. But leave me some comments down below. Like, what was your first setup? You know, how long have you been doing this? Just uh, interact with me a little bit in the comments. I, I love hearing that type of stuff. And let me know what you thought about this. Did you guys have any of that same equipment when you first started, or anything like that? Or you know, those those cringy lights that put spot dots all over everybody's clothes and everything. Um, but yeah, guys, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Click that like button and click that notification bell. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna keep making content. So. Uh, let's continue to grow this channel together.